My name is Neil, and today's Everyday Office, we're going to do a relative reference recorded macro. So the first thing about this is that a macro that is recorded is Excel watching me do some sort of steps and then repeating those steps when I ask it to. And you can do that either with absolute references or with relative references. If you watch yesterday's video, you'll see me do this with absolute references, where no matter where I start from, it always goes to the first row or it always goes to the third column and it does some formatting or adds or removes information, etc. Now, in this example, I'm going to demonstrate a situation that would require a relative reference instead of an absolute reference. You can see this by going to the Developer tab at the top of the screen. And if you don't have the Developer tab, all you need to do is right-click somewhere on the ribbon, choose Customize the Ribbon, and then from that, you'll want to make sure that the Developer tab on the right-hand side is checked. So I click that checkbox and I click OK, and now I have the Developer tab at the top of the screen. Now notice that the Use Relative References button that's below Record Macro is currently disabled. That means that it is currently using absolute references, again those references that go to specifically the cells, rows, and columns that I ask it to. And instead here, I want to use Relative References. Now here's a situation that would call for that. Let's say that I go through here and I find specific and, uh, items like uh, particularly high sale prices or particularly low sale prices or sale prices in specific regions that are of interest to me, whatever the case may be. And I decide that I'd like to select that whole row, all the data in that row, and then specifically highlight it and move down to the next row. Now, the reason this is a relative reference is because if you think about it, an absolute reference would record that I wanted it to go to the 12th row specifically. But I don't really know that it's going to be the 12th row in the future. Maybe in the future it'll be the 19th row or the 25th row. What matters to me is that I'll be moving down the A column and maybe I'll be on cell A13. And in that spot right there, cell A13, I'd like to go ahead and highlight the entire 13th row. And then later, if I'm on the 23rd, A23, I wanna go ahead and highlight the whole 23rd row. Use whatever is relative to the current location. So to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is not record myself moving to cell A13. Instead, I'm going to start off in cell A13 so the movement is not recorded as part of the process. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Use Relative References uh, button so that my macro, as it records, is not going to pay attention to the fact that it's in the 13th row, but just that it, I want to highlight everything that's in the row I happen to be on right now. Now at this point I can click on record macro and give this macro a name. Maybe I give this the name of something like highlight record, for example. And I might give this the keyboard shortcut control shift H. Now you'll need to make sure that you make a conscious choice between highlighting in this workbook specifically or using the personal macro workbook to save this. Uh, the, basically the question there is do I think I will be doing this exact process in other spreadsheets or just in the one that I'm on right now? And I think that this is just going to be in this specific situation, just this workbook. I'll fill in the description here. Uh, maybe it's um, highlight entire row in revenue table, for example. Um, and then I'll be recorded 11, 13, 17 by N. Malik. Okay, so I hit okay. And now it's going to be watching me. So remember, I don't want to move to a specific row here. What I want it to do, I'll hold down the shift key on my keyboard and use the right arrow just to go ahead and highlight that entire record right there. Now, for those of you guys who know the keyboard shortcut, control shift right arrow would have worked really well there.
At this point, I'll go to my home tab at the top of the screen and fill the background color, maybe with like a pale orange or something like that. And then I'll go to my developer tab. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's now go down to A14. So I will, at this point, use the down arrow or maybe just click down to A14 right there. Okay. So now I have said, if I'm on A13, highlight from A13 across to Q13, do the highlighting, and then move down to cell A14. Now I'll click the developer tab at the top of the screen and click on stop recording. And let's just take a look at what's actually happened there. When I click the visual basic button here on the left and I look at this panel right here, I can look at my modules. There's module number one. And you can see it says not, you know, A13, but rather whatever the active cell is, wherever we are right now, I'd like you to highlight the range from the current cell over to the Q column. And then whatever is selected there, go ahead and change the background color to, as you can see here, a theme color accent two. Then whatever the active cell is, I want you to offset this down to uh, one cell below that. Actually, this is where I wasn't able to use the arrow earlier. I accidentally must have recorded as part of that process um, a double click on that cell. The nice part about this is I can actually remove this altogether here if you accidentally did something like that. Okay, so right here it is. Whatever the active cell is, go ahead and highlight that whole row, change the background color, then offset it one down from there. Okay, let's see whether that works or not. I'll click on to cell A19. If it's working properly, it'll highlight from A19 to Q19, change it to orange, and then move down to A20. I'll click on my macros button. I'll choose highlight record and hit run. And then you can see it did exactly that. Or if uh, I use the keyboard shortcut that I set up, which was control shift H, it should go ahead and do that. And again, if I go down to A29, control shift H should highlight the entire 29th row and move down to the 30th row.